Hi, this is Clemens Weijers, Ordek, and you're watching Impact Channel. Very good, yeah. We're already in the fifth week, if I'm not mistaken. It was a very long tour, but it's going really great. So I'm glad to be back in Hungary. Finally. Yeah, we're working very hard. A lot of the music is already done, and we're looking to go into the studio in the fall, and probably going to have a release next year. Or so. Yeah. Uh, who's going to be the producer? Where will you record the album? If I can some ask the details about it. <laughs> we are actually right now looking into that. We have uh, a really cool option going on. And uh, I am excited about it. Cannot reveal it yet. But, um, mm -hmm. Because it's not uh, definite yet. Mm -hmm. There's uh, going to be some changes in that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good question. Uh, I like different aspects of different languages. For example, German. I feel is a language that is very good at describing certain things. I always find that German, some German words exist and then in, in Dutch there is no other word to comply to that. Um, for me to communicate, I think English is sort of the, the, the easiest language. So uh, yeah, and I like Spanish myself. Mm. Oh definitely, yeah definitely. And uh, for example, uh, the funny thing is, I speak my home language uh, Dutch the best, but to me that's the hardest to express myself in, a, in, in, in the stuff that we do, and that's really a challenge. But probably that's maybe for each person from your hometown, it's always it, maybe it sounds too familiar or something. But it's an interesting topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spanish, because my girlfriend speaks Spanish and I'm trying to get better at it every time. Yeah. Is she from Spain? Costa Rica. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good question. That's, uh, that's a difficult question. I think I appreciate a lot of artists, like I like Tchaikovsky, for example, Stravinsky, what they did, and I appreciate that. But the cool thing is that we try to do something on our own, so mm. I am always, this question always grabs me a little bit because I never think in those terms to work with others, but it's a good question therefore, but uh, yeah, we try to be, to create along the line more original stuff to get away from our own influences and to try to, you know, bring something new to the table, so yeah. Maybe Edgar Allan Poe would write the lyrics? Maybe, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just lyrics. <laughs> I always say like when, when I compose music I need to feel really great about it, like I need to jump out of my chair and if I don't have that reaction then I cannot expect this from fans. So, uh, and that, that's hard because sometimes you have music and you think okay it's 80% but it's, it's not a 10 and you, I throw it away so that's, and, and, and it's a hard work but you cannot force it every time I say like I'm going to compose a track. It doesn't work, but when you don't really think about it and just start playing around, then usually the parts go. Mm -hmm. And the same is with the stage, like I try to give everything. If there was one person or 10,000, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's great when people give this back and uh, then you feel a difference. It's easier when the fans go crazy because you sort of grow on that energy. Mm -hmm. and when people are like skeptical and like this, it's harder because then it's like I have to run the mm -hmm. harder marathon, like rock marathon. Mm -hmm. Probably be a stadium, and uh, the stadium would probably go upside down <laughs> to the moon and back. Yeah, we have all these crazy ideas, and we have done a lot of that stuff already with wires. Mm -hmm. My brother is very good at engineering. Mm -hmm. An example is I told him, "Can you make my keyboard go up and down because it's a bit boring?" And one day I came home and said, "Something better." It was like 360. So yeah, <clears throat> but we have when we would have all these. Uh, Supplies, we would go crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've 
Friedrich Nietzsche, it would be really interesting. I read every book that he wrote. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, I was really into that. That, that would be uh, one of my favorites. Yeah. It can be. I would summon all dinosaurs. I'm a dinosaur geek, so <laughs> <laughs> they're not really mythological, but that would be cool. <laughs>
I'm a little bit of an audiophile geek now, I like to listen to some album. One album that I really like in that sense, not so much for the music, is Thriller by Michael Jackson because he has all these ambient sounds happening. I can hear people walking in, sound effects all around you. So that is a really cool album. Nine Inch Nails has an album, Downward Spiral, the same thing. It's like stuff happening, it's almost like a 3D experience. So, yeah. That will be my two picks, if that's okay. <laughs> Finished? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Art, music, enjoying yourself. Yeah. Do you have any last words to your fans? We'd love to be here and hungry and uh, hope to see you at the 10th stage.